All right, here I am in beautiful Cape Cod, Massachusetts. A little bit different to my last few fishing venues, but I'm here, I'm gonna give it a go. Got some lures, travel rod with me. We're gonna get out on this point here. There's an awesome bit of tide ripping through. It's a beautiful September evening. Let's see what's in it. All right, we're heading down this somewhat sketchy track here oh, <laughs> to what looks like an awesome venue to fish. There's a great tide rip here, a lot of structure, everything that I like in a fishing mark. What am I going for today? Well, I don't really know. I know that this area can be good for striped bass. That's something that I'd love, but <laughs> just look at this. <laughs> we've got structure, we've got tide, we've got everything right here. I'm not gonna waste any time. I'm gonna get this bad boy set up and cast some lures out. All right, I haven't even got a line in the water yet and I've spotted something pretty cool. Well, to me anyway, I've never seen one of these before. This is, I think they're called a horseshoe crab. And uh, there we go. That one's obviously dead, but yeah, pretty cool thing to see. <laughs> All right, here we go. We got a Shimano STC travel. It's 10 foot, 20 to 120 grams, paired up with a pen spinfisher, five and a half thousand. And my bass fishing brain is just screaming at me to work a soft plastic through all this. So I'm starting off with the fish black minnow number three, with a 25 gram head. It may not be enough for this tide, but wait and see. And I can see a lot of stuff getting pushed through, a lot of uh, weed and just general rubbish. So I don't know if that's gonna be a problem, but we'll find out soon enough. That casts an acceptable distance. We we'll just have to see if all of this floating weed is going to cause an issue for us today. Okay, there we go, fish on! <laughs> fish, oh, I lost it. Uh, lost it. That's a shame. First, <laughs> first fish and it's gone. Oh, I think the black has let me down a bit there. That hook does not look great, but I mean, all that being said, did attempt to fish the bite, so it was doing something right, but that was just out of range. Didn't feel like a bad one either. That's really annoying because I've been fishing hard, and uh, yeah, that one, that one didn't feel like a bad fish actually. Okay, we've got one. We've got one. <laughs> we've got one. I'm gonna keep that rod tip high just because the amount of snags. <laughs> I can really winch on it with this, uh, this heavy setup. Now, what is that? That is, to my eyes, a black sea bass. Cool fish, for sure. It's a bass, that's what I was after, but uh, just not, not the stripey one. <laughs> it's 30 pound, but you know, I'll take that. I've worked hard, so I'm happy. All right, thank you, little black sea bass, for restoring my faith in my ability to fish. Let's get this guy out of here. <laughs> All right, proper stuff, very happy with that. One fish that can change the mood of everything. Especially when there's a nice sunset. Have a few more casts here and then move over to a different spot. Oh, I'm gonna get a wet butt. Yeah, and just try a different different technique, basically. Let's see what it brings. Fish, tide's come in a bit since I got here. Thankfully, I'm wearing shorts. And the rod works really well as a wading pole. Just to give you that little bit of support. All right, I'll just show you where I am at here. So I'm on this corner and I like about corners is that you get a lot more sort of movement and current flow. I think it's like a bit of a hot spot really for the fish usually. And I'm just bringing this baited bucktail jig around with the flow of tide. And I'm fishing pretty much exclusively on the bottom here with this bait um, because you know it's, it's bottom dwelling fish that I'm, that I'm targeting. I took it real close in. You know what this is, but it's more like a 
dead weight than anything else. It's got this 20 to 40 pound rod. Actually, at quite an angle. <laughs> fish there, the colours. It's got a long dorsal fin there. So uh, yeah, please let me know in the comments what this is. So if we peek over this hedge here, you can see there's some pretty nice waterfront access all along here. But we got a strong breeze coming from that direction and yeah, it just makes it hard to fish into and hard for me to film so i'm gonna head to the other side we've got the marine biological laboratory here lots of cool little spots to access but i'm gonna head to the other side find some shelter and wet a line there okay we've hooked something really small here no idea what it could be but it's tiny oh there we go what is that oh it came off right at the rod tip all right i don't know if i've hooked a fish here or just a bit of seaweed but it's putting up some resistance so yeah let's see again not fighting much oh yeah no it is fighting oh it's fighting <laughs> whatever it is i didn't even know it was hooked at first <laughs> all right there we go just a little one now I believe these are called sea robins here in the States. Making a funny noise there. In the UK I'd call that a gurnard. It's gonna go crazy. On oh, the deadly dick. <laughs> it's just a good casting metal that bumped on the bottom. So yeah. Certainly not a big rod bender, but a really pretty fish nonetheless. Let's get him unhooked and get him back. Happy days. So that's the second fish. The other one was yeah, different species. But uh nice little fish to catch off the shore here. Alright, let's get this little sea robin back. What a cool looking fish. This is all I'm doing with the metal that I've got at the moment. I'm just letting it bounce along really, just giving it a little lift and then it flutters back down. Very easy way of working on a lure. And it's shallow here, you know, I, I, what I'm casting into, I, I can't imagine it's much more than two meters deep. So I don't need to go crazy with the, the lifts, but yeah, I'm just aiming for those bottom fish. I'm sure if there's any fin mid-water, it will pick it up as well. Okay, we're into another fish off the crowded beach. This one's definitely putting up a better fight. I'm not sure what it is, but oh, yeah, I can feel it. <laughs> that's, that's a good thing. It's going crazy out there. If I still got it on, yeah. It's fighting like a like a really quick fish actually because it's just going slack and then heavy again so it's like it's darting all over the place it's like a mackerel almost but see a silver flash what is that let's just glide it in some sort of bream i think <laughs> okay so Another species. So it's like three species, one after each other. To me, that would be a bream in the UK, but uh, probably not here in the States. It's just foul hooked himself there, but let me know what that is. I'm very interested to know. 
great fighting fish that for its size but for a really good scrap so yeah it's sweet there we go another fish in cape cod i'm a deadly dick let's get that one back